Good day everyone, this is Captain Isaac. Welcome to Play Archive. So, welcome to episode 1 of Play Archives, where I talk about every game on mobile and even more maybe. Today I'll be talking about a game that actually uh, I discovered through a very unique method, although I'm pretty sure most kids probably done the same. The game I'm talking about today it goes by the name of Auto's Adventure. Auto's Adventure is an endless type runner which is the theme snowboarding. It is developed by Snowman, a three-man indie game team, and is released on the 19th of February 2015. The app is published on the Play Store by Noodle Kick Studios Incorporated. The app size is around 100 megabytes and the app is free of charge. However, its monetization nature is there are in-app purchases available, but it's only for a faster progress. So anyone out there that doesn't like grinding, you can consider purchasing it, but of course, personally, I wouldn't recommend it since these purchases are not really necessary and yeah, with enough time, you can unlock those power-ups. The setting of the story has you control the protagonist Alto or one of his friends to ride down a mountain, chasing after runaway llamas while doing tricks on their snowboards. There are other obstacles in the way, but I'll leave that to you to find out in the game. The accomplishments of Alto's adventure, it has 10 million installs, which is pretty phenomenal. It has currently, on the time of uh, my review, 4.4 stars on the Play Store, and it is marked as Editor's Choice. Gameplay-wise, the game utilizes a one-touch style gameplay, which is one input and that's all. This input is tapping, tap one on the ground to jump, hold when you're in the mid-air to backflip, and that's about it. The controls are considered easy to learn, but hard to master. It's pretty quickly to pick it up, but if you want to get a high score, you're going to have to take some time to master it. Now, how I first got in touch on this game is pretty unique when I, I said at the start of the video. I actually found this game when I was browsing some technology stores. Yeah, well, some of the display phones usually have this game installed. Usually, I think iPhones and iPads have this installed, so when I was browsing those stores, this app would be, of course, one of them in, on display. So yeah, that's how I found the game. And, of course, it took a while for me to actually install it. Well, not install progress, more like it took a while for me to actually decide to install the game in my phone. And it was fun. My comments on the Autos Adventure Gameplay-wise, it is easy to pick up, hard to master. This is, of course, why I said. But um, power-ups, it may take a while to grind it. That's, I think, the only downside to this game. But it is kind of a, well, time waster. So you're probably doing this on your free time as well. So I don't think that would be a big issue. Controls, with only one type of input, there's really not much to complain. Like, it's just tap the jump and then mid-air to uh, backflip. Graphics, the visuals are basic, but it's pretty soothing. There is good ambient music as well, I think. I mean, I don't wear headphones to play this game, so... Yeah. I think that is it for our tools adventure, so... Yeah. Let me know what you think of the game. And... Of course, I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can try out the game for yourselves if it's still available. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Play Archives. Later.